Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Daniel Huckins and today we're going to take a look at these cool cards right here that you may know about and just got on the market pretty recently at Starbucks. They are these Starbucks playing cards. We'll be taking a look at them today. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's get into it. So we have the Starbucks plank. Actually, kind of need a, a mat here. So let's just. There we go. Got a little mat. Starbucks cards. Let's take a look at them. So on the box, it feels really nice. It's like this matte finish. It's nice and smooth. On the back, you see the Queen of Hearts as she looks in the deck of cards, and the back design of the playing cards. Top, you see Starbucks. The side, you just see that color from red color scheme from red to orangish yellow going up. Looks really nice that transition. And nothing on the bottom. On the other side, in fine print, it says 2018 Starbucks Coffee Company, all rights reserved, and some little numbers. Don't know why it says 2018 if this deck came out this year, 2019, and it's called the 2019 Starbucks Summer Deck. But who knows? When you open the box, there's this kind of flap that I really, really don't like. Everything about the box is awesome. There are a few little things though that I don't like that I will let you know about. This makes it a little bit harder to take them out than usual. Kind of bugs me. And when you put the cards back in the box, you see on the bottom there, that little flap right there in the bottom. Yeah, when you put them in, the cards kind of get stuck on that. So there's a few that are out jogged on the back that you need to either push in and try not to break this or move them around, which, yeah, I really don't like decks that have that. It really bugs me. But not about the box, not about the cover. It's about the book, about the cards, about the pages. So here's the back design. Has that green dot all the way throughout it which I really like I would have not I don't really want their logo I wouldn't want their logo right there the dot looks a lot cooler and the faces put this here jokers and the clubs and spades have a bluish kind of color to it from light bluish gray to dark blue transition just like the box had with the orange and yellow and then with the hearts and diamonds they have the orange and yellow just like the box and on each court card they're holding Starbucks drinks as you can see my favorite card King of Diamonds has an iced coffee, which I really do like iced coffees actually. Prefer frappuccinos from Starbucks though. There's a hot coffee, there's an iced coffee, there's a frappuccino. As you can see. Holding all different types of Starbucks coffee. Now let's talk about how they handle. The cars themselves handle really nicely. Don't know what the finish is. I've heard some people say it's air cushion, heard some people say it's Chinese made and it's plastic, but I'd say it's a nice in between. I honestly think this is cardamundi, but it would, I, I assume it would say on the box and it does not. But the way that their borders are done, you can see almost just about no flaw in the borders, but with bicycles, since they print so many on big machines, there usually is like a little flaw on the borders that go back and forth. But I've heard that Cardamundi does not have that flaw as usual as Bicycle does. So I assume this would be Cardamundi. Whether it is or not, the finish is really nice and handles super well from what I've seen for the past few days. And now we'll, uh, We'll take them out for a little, little test drive, a little spin, a little B-roll action.
So that is the Starbucks playing card deck. You can't find these cards, sadly, on their website. Must go in-store near the section where they sell all their other merchandise, mugs, coffee packets, K-cups, T-shirts, elephants, you know, the usual. So if you want to check these out, go buy your local Starbucks, pick up a deck. I think they're, uh, these were gifts, so I don't know, but I've heard that they're about eight to $12 per deck, which for what you're getting, the design and quality is really good. It's a little more than an like, average bicycle. So I'd say pick up one of these. They fare are pretty good too, I think. Okay, not fans of farrowing as well, or I'm just bad at it, but they fan well after a while of using them. So yeah, that is the Starbucks playing card deck review. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like, dropping a comment of if you enjoyed these cards, if you like them, if you'll pick them up, if you've seen them before. If you're new here and you like my content, like card reviews, like tutorials and tricks and tips to help you be better at magic and card shooting, stick around by pressing the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified of my next video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.